Welcome back to Power BI Helpline. Today we are going to create an ultimate comparison slicer in Power BI which will blow your mind. If you are new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified. Let's check it out. Look at this visual, it compares current versus previous day, week, month, quarter or year, based on selection. Items in the x-axis will dynamically change based on the period. And the title will show all the selected items from current versus previous slicer. Let's create this amazing functionality. So here I have this sales table, where the only measure I created is total sales using some x function. I also have a date table, which I am going to use in this demo. To achieve the required functionality, first of all, I need to create a custom table, which will initially have two columns. The name of the table is current versus previous. My first column will include the period, which needs to be selected for comparison, and another is an order column as sort helper column. My table is created, and let me sort my current versus period column based on ordinal column. Next is to create two calculated columns, current and previous. In current column, basically I will use a switch function and get the corresponding period value for each item in the current versus period column. I can use sort order column because this was used to sort the current versus previous period column. As that you can see, I am using my ordinal column and calculating the corresponding current value for current day, current week, current month, and so on. Creating these two columns are just 30% of the solution. So don't skip the video, because you may miss the key concepts to enable this functionality. Here I can copy this calculation for remaining items and replace the corresponding values to filter and calculate the current period. For current year, I can just use the year function on the max date variable. Since we have variant data type, so let's wrap the entire expression inside format function to convert it all into text data type. In my format string argument, I will use empty, so all items will show as it is. As that you can see, now I have my current day, current week, and all other current periods in this column. I will copy this entire expression, and will use it in my second column, which is named as previous. I will rename the name to previous, and then I can easily subtract one from current day, current week, or other current values to get its corresponding previous values. These two columns will only be used in my x-axis of the visual, which will dynamically show the current and previous periods. Before I start creating my measures, let's verify all the items are showing as expected or not. Here I have created a slicer using my current versus previous column, and then I will also create a column chart visual, and I will drag both the calculated columns and x-axis. At present it will not show anything. And now we'll create the measures. The first measure is current sales. In that I will use similar approach. First variable is same as max of the date. The second variable is to store the current year. In my return statement, I will calculate total sales and the corresponding columns in my sales table will be filtered by the available items in my new calculated column name, current. So I will use those items to filter my sales table so that I will get the required current period values. If selected item is day, or ordinal value is 1, then I can just filter my date table for the max date and calculate the total sales. But for other selections, like ordinal 2, 3, or 4 which is equivalent to week, month, or quarter, it will also be required to use current year, so that we will get previous period values, but in the same year. As here you can see I am also filtering the year column of my date table with current year variable. Now I can copy this same expression for other selected items in current versus previous column. Here again, I will replace the week, month, or the quarter based on its selected ordinal values. These calculations are not much different than how we created the calculated columns. Only difference is, those dynamic calculated columns are required to show the dynamic periods in x-axis of my visual for current or previous selected period. Once you created this measure, the next measure which is previous sales, is going to be based on the same logic. Only difference is, we will replace the column from current to previous. So here I am creating a new measure for previous selected period sales using the same expressions. I will rename it to previous sales, and then I will also replace the calculated column reference from current to previous at each place, so that it will filter the date table for the items available in my column name, previous. After this, 
we will be able to see the required functionalities in our column chart visual. For previous year period, I can simply use current year variable minus 1. All right. Let's now use both the measures and Y axis of my column chart and see how it looks. So I will drag my current sales and previous sales measure here. With this, you will see the column chart visual is now showing the current week and previous week sales because week is selected in the slicer. Now this visual is ready and you can test its functionality to if it is showing the expected values or not. One thing left here is to create a dynamic title so that it will show all the selected items in the title of this visual. For that, I will create another measure. And as we have already shown in our previous videos of creating a dynamic slicer, I will use the same DAX expression here as well. If you want to create an amazing dynamic title in your visuals, check out the video link showing on top of your screen. Links are also available in the description below. For multi-selection, I can use concatenate x function to have comma separated selected items in the visual's title. Before that, you can also concatenate a text string, current versus previous or previous versus current. Next is to select your column chart visual, and in title section use this measure as field value, so that it will dynamically change based on the selected items in the slicer. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for many such interesting solutions in Power BI.